People keep asking the same question about 3i Atlas. Is this some real cosmic mystery? Or just a normal comet misread by the internet? Today's update isn't based on rumors. It comes from the person who actually pointed Hubble at it, David Jewett, the astronomer who observed it directly. Let's talk about what the data really says. A lot of people think NASA is hiding something, but here's what actually happens. Scientists don't work for NASA in the way people imagine. They propose their ideas, other scientists review them. And if the proposal is strong, they get time on the telescope. The images don't go into secret folders. They go into public databases. Anyone can download them. If NASA was hiding something here, it would mean hundreds of independent researchers are part of the same secret. That's not how science works. You've probably seen wild size claims. Some headlines said 40 kilometers, others said 20. Those numbers came from misunderstanding. This object throws off massive clouds of dust. That dust reflects sunlight and makes it look huge. When Hubble zoomed in, no solid nucleus was directly visible. That gives us a maximum possible size, not an exact one. Upper limit, about 5.6 kilometers. And in David Jewett's own words, it's probably much smaller, maybe close to a kilometer, maybe less. A lot of people focused on the weird tail pointing toward the sun. Some called it propulsion, some called it artificial. But comets do this naturally. Material is first launched toward the sun, then sunlight pushes it backward over time. It looks strange if you've never seen it before, but in physics, this, this is normal comet behavior. Another rumor was about nickel. People heard nickel and thought metal hull. That's not what's happening. These aren't metal plates. They're gas atoms released from molecules in the dusty coma. Nickel is found in many comets. 3i Atlas isn't unique in that way. Polarization became another scare word. People thought it meant exotic material, but polarization doesn't measure surfaces. It measures how light scatters. What it really shows here is simple, fluffy, porous dust grains, big, lightweight, very normal for active comets. Then came non-gravitational acceleration. It sounds dramatic, but it isn't. All comets do this. When gas shoots out one side, the object recoils slightly in the opposite direction. That's not propulsion, that's physics. And in this case, the measurements are messy, the uncertainty is large, nothing clean, nothing definitive. Here's the honest scientific position. Good science doesn't close doors, it stays curious. Could something like this theoretically be artificial? In theory, yes. But science doesn't run on imagination, it runs on evidence. And right now, every strong piece of evidence points to a natural comet. David Jewett is observing it again as it moves away from the sun. Scientists are looking for fragmentation, rotating jets, fading of the dust cloud. If the dust disappears, the solid nucleus might finally show itself. That would give a real size, not a guess, not, a, not an upper limit. 3i Atlas is still rare. It's still interstellar. It's still fascinating. But it doesn't need to be a spaceship to be extraordinary. Right now, the best explanation is also the simplest one. A small, dusty, interstellar comet. Stay curious. Stay critical. See you in the next update.